you can't take it back, no I've got so much left to say, but I'll take the words and walk away And what is up ladies and gentlemen, it has been quite a while, my name is the Fru, and I am happy to be here at 10.47 p.m. with my copy of Dark Souls 3. I was able to get it pretty early by going to the military base I live by, ordered it there, and I was able to pick it up. And I'm here to do my first video on the first boss in this game. I barely know anything about this. I know that this guy is the first boss, and this will be my first run at him. And I'm going to explain a few things that I found out in the game to help starters. Let's go. All right, Mr. Postman, you seem to have a little flesh wound. That's a gnarly... Oh, my God, you was just leaking everywhere. Hey, let me just... You, you got a toothpick in you. You good? You. That's a big ass... And it disappeared. Hey, we good? I don't think we're good. You got a big tummy. Those are abs. Not fat. Okay, so... Judix Gunther, Goodyear. Are you fat or buff? Okay, you're buff. Okay. Wait for overhead strikes. He does two spear thrusts. Does that. Go in. Back off. This music is beautiful. This setting is beautiful. This game is beautiful. Why are you so freaking scary, though? That was free. That's free dodge. Free damage. Back off. Free dodge. Free damage. He speeds things up a little bit. His attacks are still extremely predictable. He has a long reach. I should have got hit by that if I'm keeping it 100, but I didn't. Okay. Keep close to him. Keep your shield up. And you should be fine. He's hit me once. Taking a good chunk of my life. I'm going to heal the next chance I get. What the? Oh my god, he's got a curse form. Okay, um. I need to learn his moves. He's got two sets of attacks now. One, one standing from the curse coming from his body. That's a... Yeah, hell no. Nah. If I get close, I bet that can't hit me. There we go. I can't see him. Backing off, healing. I'm at half health. I need to be need to dodge that, or I can block it. I can't see my character. We're gonna be fine. No point in two-handing right now. Keep close to him. You can still predict his moves pretty easily if you stay close. Block. Get out the way. I don't know what that was. It looked like he just had some bad Taco Bell and had to throw up. Jump attack. You can block that. Same thing. First boss, easy. I highly recommend you don't lock on during the second stage. The Coiled Sword. Okay. I highly recommend you do not lock on in this first stage. Oh, damn. I'm sexier than before? This boy is on fire. Okay. Second stage, very easy. His, um, his, um, his pokiness goes away. So he's very close. If you're a knight like me, your shield can deflect all of his attacks. Stay close. Don't lock on because then you just focus on the gigantic deformed Bugs Bunny helmet. Helmet. You know what I'm talking about. And you should be pretty free. I won't be as comedical as I normally am in my other playthroughs because I'm pretty serious when I play Dark Souls. It's my first playthrough ever and I want to show you a few things. The last thing I want to show you is I had 4,000 souls going into this fight and I had another item that I'm going to show right now. Um, okay, I got this Titanite scale. Now it can reinforce soul transport weapons to plus four. I figured I might as show you where to get that at. So, in order to get the Titanite scale, what I recommend doing is running all the way back here. Got to go up these big old. Okay, tell me why these guys look like they're from like Lord of the Rings, or you know Star Wars. They're Sith lords. No, ow! What's it all? Dun, 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 you know, the dual fates? The, um, you, you know what I'm talking about, right? When they fought North Mo No, no, I'm an idiot. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. 
I'm gonna end this video out by showing you where to get that Titanite scale. You better stop it, Mr. Postman. What you gotta do is you gotta slaughter this man. He's got a headache. Block that. Kill him. And if you... Oh, what'd you drop? A fading soul. Alright. If you go through this little side area that's right next to the path you have to go to fight the boss, you'll go through here and it's gonna tell you to turn back. Now, I recommend not doing that if you're a decent Souls player. Because there is an enemy up here, and it is a Titanite Lizard. I'm guessing the developers were kind of sad that the Titanite Lizards were just getting slaughtered and hunted down. So they made Titanite Lizards fucking insane. They're like roly-polies on steroids. But this is where you can find and kill one. He'll drop four, four souls. 4,000 souls. And, and, he will... He will um, drop the Titanite scale. Now, that's all I have for this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. It helps me out tremendously. This is going out to my Streak family and the E-Crazy family. I've been gone for a couple months. I've been dealing with some rough stuff for like three months, basically. And all came to a boil on Thursday, and I had to deal with some stuff. And I still am. But I'm back at it with Dark Souls. I'm back at it with videos. I'm going to be doing boss guides item guides book guides tic-tac-toe guides for all i know you can do tic-tac-toe in this game and they got a chicken trying to kill you but until that day comes and i have to hold your hand in tic-tac-toe my name is the fruit and i'm signing out until next time i'll see you guys later